Hi, welcome back to another um, Battletech, uh, the, the Crescent Hawk Revenge, Part 7. Um, before, I st well, before I go through the mechs as I usually do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a bit weird and split some of it in half, because there's a lot to go through in this particular episode. Um, I'll probably end up doing the first scenario that we both know, well, everybody that's watched this so far knows in the first, um, first scenario. Uh, I said the first scenario, sorry, let me rephrase that. Not the first scenario, the scenario that we left at last time, which was the urban mechs against the, uh, against the, well, assassin and the infantry. Um, and then you'll see later on whereby um, I, I do do both the scenarios, but the the first one that I'll do uh, that I did do with with the light mechs, I'll talk about those mechs in the next scenario because well, sorry, the next video because it's going to be a lot easier because like I said, it's just a lot of mechs. The other thing is the video uh, video pad, which is what I'm using at the moment. It doesn't really give me a good preview sequence. Everything's all squidgy and horrible, you know, when you look at it. Like, the text isn't there properly. Um, which means I'm going to have to invest in a proper video uh, editing kit. And I'm not going to go with Adobe Photoshop. Not Photoshop, um, Adobe Premiere. Because the last time I tried it, it was a bit... There was too much stuff there... There's a lot of stuff I wasn't going to use. It's too bloated. And when I rendered the video, it kind of came out like a VHS. And I was a bit like, you know, the VHS tape quality. And it was just, no. So, excuse me, but sorry. So, anyway. So the first mech from the, uh, well, the, the only mechs we use in the scenario between us and the infantry is the urban mech. Um, it is a light uh, mech with uh, for 30 tons and it only, well it comes with one laser and one AC-10 which I think is I suppose it's okay for um, a mech its uh, top speed is well, it goes at 32.4 kilometers an hour. Um, hmm. I wonder how that compares with something like... Let me just check this now. What what does that compare with... Let's say... The Locust. Yeah, massive speed difference because the uh, the locust at twenty tons less goes at one hundred and twenty nine point six kilometers an hour, and this one is a slow bugger in comparison. Um, yeah. So I suppose I mean it does actually say in Sarnet that this is. Pretty much urban combat and defense, but slowest light mech in existence. No fucking kidding. Well, so we get two of those to do the um, kill inventory with, and then what pops up? They bring an assassin into the creed, which is a forty-ton uh, medium mech. Packing one medium laser, one LRM5, and one SRM2, which kind of. Even when I did the scenarios, this was never gonna go. You know, you'd be lucky if you managed to do any significant damage to it. I think I managed to whip it down to maybe 20, uh, 80%. Nothing much more, because this is piling the uh, the uh, rockets on you. you. Suddenly, just go from moving to not moving at all. Um, but you'll find out what the solution was when you see the actual what I did. Um, so yeah, uh, what else? He 
uh, the speed of this guy is uh, one hundred and eighteen point eight kilometers an hour. So, yeah, that was a bit of an unfair, uneven match. But uh, mind you, I suppose with the scenario saying something on the lines of "you were fucked" and this is the only thing you had, yeah, I suppose so. But, uh, yeah, that was a bit naughty. Anyway, so. We skip to the uh, the run the gauntlet scenario, and we've managed to get at least a couple of the. I think the last two mixed it were uh, sitting at the bottom of the lake. We managed to get. Um, we already had the Griffin out, and we already had uh, the Phoenix Hawk out. The next one that comes out and is also used by your compadre, well, your helper team. Uh, the other lands is the Enforcer. Um, this is a medium mech with uh, a 50 ton one. And it's got AC 10, uh, one large laser and one small laser. Um, so, oh yeah, and top speed is 68 uh, kilometers, uh, 64.8 kilometers an hour. So, you know, something a bit, lo a lot better and, and you know, uh, does pack a punch. Um, on our side, you're also on the other lance, which you can't control. You've also got a Vindicator. That is a medium 45 ton mech with uh, one LRM5, one PPC, uh, one medium laser, and one small laser. Um, goes at 64.8 kilometers an hour, same as the Enforcer. But hits a bit for uh, hits for a lot more, especially with the um, the long range missiles. You also have the Hunchback. That's a medium mech. Um, has one AC twenty, two medium lasers, and a small laser. Uh, Fifty tons, and his speed is the same as uh, the Vindicator and the Forcer, which is sixty four point eight. Um, this also is one of my favoured mechs, uh, other than the similar looking Thunderbolt. I don't know what it is about the design with some hefty thing next to, sh uh, strapped straight to your, f uh, next to your face, but, uh, it's, um, seems quite pleasing. Um, it's also a mech that, it's the first mech that I bought in the MechWarrior Online game. Um, I went for the 4J, but I stripped everything out of it and I think I gave it a better set of. I think the 4J gives you LRM 15s, and I've gone for LRM 20s, and it's your double heat sink as well, because uh, it's got a couple of um, large lasers on it. Um, but it does reasonably well out in the field uh, when I'm not fucking up. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So my lance of the Phoenix Hawk, um, Griffin and Enforcer, plus the other uh, Lance of the Vindicator, Hunchback and Enforcer, uh, get to face off against a Dervish, which uh, I've never... I, this is the first time I've heard of one, I think. Yeah, I don't remember hearing of it. Do, do, do I? No. Um, it's a medium mech. Uh, 55 tons. It has two LRM 10s, two medium lasers, and two uh, SRM 2s. Uh, top speed is 86.4 kilometers an hour. Um, we have a blackjack, which is medium, as I thought on the video. 45 tons, packing two auto cannon 2s and four medium lasers. Uh, speed at 64.8 kilometers an hour. We, oh, manufacturers General Motors apparently. How amusing. Um, we have the Rifleman, which is a heavy mech, 60 tons. It's got two large lasers, two auto cannon fives and five medium lasers. Top speed is 64.8. And we have the Shadowhawk. Uh, that is a 55 ton medium with one auto cannon 5, one LRM 5, one SRM 2, and one medium laser. 
Uh, top speed is again well eighty six point four kilometers an hour. So um, you've got some pretty pretty uh, evenly evenly matched mechs there. So that that's pretty good. Um, so that's all the well that's most of the mechs you'll see in this particular episode. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Let's play, and I'll see you in the next video. Welcome back to the Crescent Hawks Revenge Part 7. Uh, as I said in the last video, um, I went away to play around with this a bit more. And to be honest, I, I couldn't really get past the assassin. Um, so what I ended up doing was just looking at a um, walkthrough, which is something that I didn't really want to do, but... I try not to look at walkthroughs unless I really need to, and in this case I did. Um, so what's going to happen now is um, we're going to get through the scenario pretty quickly, and then um, I'll show you what you have to do at the end uh, with the assassin. Anyway, let's get on with it. Yeah. Okay. So, right, so we're moving these guys all the way to the first area. And, no, that's not what I want. This one. And then I'm going to increase the game speed to 6. So I can get the, the you know, this particular episode moving. Right, so they're loading that up. Jason, this is Rex. Code red. Oh. So we've shut down to four. And the reason for that is, is that, yeah, there's a spot. Right, okay, so target the, uh... Annoying little oaks and gits. Infantry found, yes, we know. And you can target uh, this lot. Jason, this is Rex. Code red. Okay. Don't know what that was about. Never mind. Target that one. You can target that one. And that's the only one that's around at the moment. That's fine. Jason, this is Rex. Code red. In fact, you can now target. The new uh, infantry that's just popped up and died. So, yeah, that's the only one at the moment. Okay, so that should be pretty much waved one done. Jason, this is Kurt, code red. Which means to spin another spot, there you go. Three. Yep. More units. I'll probably wait for them to come over. No point in uh, going over yet, I don't think. Or maybe there is. Hang got a minute.
Let's quicken this process up. Oh, I've got a minute. That's another one. Where did the other one go? Oh no, there's only one, that's fine. Jason, this is Rex, code red. In that case, you can go get these ones. Jason, this is Rex, code red. We've still got legs, that's fine, so I'm not constantly checking because there's a couple of times where the legs have been blown off and I've not noticed and it's just like annoying. Right, that's that done. That's that one done. No more. Right, okay. Still got. That's not one I want you to do. Nope. Right, okay, smooth. There. And you move here. Nothing around at the moment, that's good. Oh, there's a new set. Let's wait for a while. See what it'll do. Okay, so I'll get one mech on one side and one mech on the other. Despite the fact this mech is going completely the wrong way. Let's try and uh, mediate that, shall we? Jason, this is Kurt, code red. What's the message? Pointless message. Still got legs, that's good. That's fine. No more infantry? Well, after this lot, there won't be. 
And there's another one down there, right. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Since you're so damn slow, you can go over here and get those guys. And you can help him. Check that's the only yep, that's the only one. So I move this to six. Uh, game speed seven. And then back to four again. So I've got some sort of control. And that's that one done. You can go back there. And you can go back here. Go back to seven. Nothing on the scanners. Eighty two, eighty one, not bad. Right, so they're done with the LRMs. We can move our mechs over here. So that'll be pretty much wave one done. And that's the next set. As you all recall, oops, back to six. Okay, so start targeting the uh, infantry and going for it. And you can do the same. Switch back down to four. This one. So it's this one, this one, and that's it. Hopefully. Oh, hang on. So there's two left, okay. Eighty two and eighty one, respectively. Oh great, it's more. Mm. Okay, well you can go and target that lot's probably gonna be better.
And we'll need this guy to last. Yeah, just them set. Nope, still got legs, that's fine. Alright, so that's the, uh, the, uh, assassin. Um, I'm gonna take a chance and move this guy into position down here. on Jason this is Rex over Excellent. Right, he's in position. Uh, stick him there. Alright. Let's see if this idea works. The first idea I had that I played off off screen was to blow one of the walls and see if I can get through there, but um, that didn't quite work to plan unfortunately so so what the walkthrough says is basically get um, Kim to uh, go against you two so whilst he's off with you two drive the van in uh, out of the way so I'm gonna wait until the van's ready Which I don't think it is yet Right, okay, so they're loaded now. Excellent, right. Let's have a look. So, move you here, here, and get you into position around here. Yeah. Uh, flank speed done. So we want you to stop here. Right, there's the mech. Hopefully he's not spotted the car, which he doesn't look like he's done. So, we put a target on him. And we do defensively, because we want him to move. Uh, target him again. Because firing up well, they'll just run around everywhere. And we move this one there, here, and here. And move this guy here, here, 
and here next to his body. Jason, this is Kurt. Over. Right, there's he's Jason, in position. Jason, this is Rex. Over. He's in position. Right. Let's see what happens if I change that to fire at will. This one to fire at will. Jason, this is Kurt. Over. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you're not able to tangle with him, but the point is... Move... Him over there, up there, that way. He's probably gonna fail, but you know. There. Done. Yeah, whatever, just go. Yay! Thank God for that. Ah. As the truck drives off the base, a few ground units pull around you in a defensive posture. With both sides exhausted and uh, night falling, the Kari of mechs pull back to rest and rearm. The Kelhounds do the same. Right. Ah. Uh. So, we can save and continue. LP7 You and your mech warriors are the guests of honor at dinner. Morgan Kell welcomes you and states that without your help, the base might have been lost. When the cheering dies down, you explain that without Grace Anderson's help, the Crescent Hawks would be all dead and that he is the one promising... He is the one primarily to make worry, sorry. The Kale Hounds roll with laughter, and Morgan whispers that Grace is not yet a trained mech warrior, only a techie. Oh, okay, fair enough. Nonetheless, even the most elite of our mech warriors will have a tough time tomorrow. We just don't have the firepower to continue pushing them back. You offer the use of the two mechs at the bottom of the lake. Morgan delegates the salvage crew to raise and repair them for the battle tomorrow. With that uh, promise in mind, you order the Crescent Hawks to their quarters. Okay. Yep, they're uh, funny looking Max, I don't know what they are, never mind. Next day, you approach Captain Shaw with a plan. Your lance may be, might be able to break through Karita front lines, go deep into the plains and destroy both their Dragon Mechs and Mobile HQ. This would sever the communications, disrupting the Karita forces. With luck, the Karita commander might even be forced to retreat. Shaw considers your gauntlet plan and offers some suggestions. If your mechs uh, do survive the gauntlet, they'll probably be in pretty poor shape, perhaps too damaged to destroy the dragon mech guarding the mobile HQ. However, if two light mechs can flank the dragon by using the road to the east, you would have it at a serious disadvantage. No matter where it turned, it would have an enemy lance behind it. She also brings up the Listen Kill miss uh, uh, missiles. You risk your lives to save them. I've instructed our techs to load them on your mechs that have SRM or LRM missile launchers. The two javelins for the road run, uh, mission will also have them. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see that. Fuck's sake. So basically, I've got a choice. Um, I can run the gauntlet, or I could do the javelin. The road run. Two light mechs. Let's try the road run. Javelin Lance, your mission is accomplished in two phases. In phase one, you will quickly follow the road, which is now blocked by Karika forces. You must follow the left fork in the road to arrive at coordinate A30 before 7.14 or you'll be late for two, too late for phase two. 
Right, okay, so follow the left fork, uh, A30. Phase 2 will begin when you reach the northern area. You are to, re uh, to remain hidden at coordinates E74 until 07330 hours. Uh, at that time, the Lahore clan should begin engaging the enemy dragoon. Uh, mech in sector D, come out of hiding and concentrate your missiles on this rear um, uh, armor. And concentrate your missiles on its rear armor, it won't stand a chance, Jason. Right, let's just write this down before uh, I forget. Right, so we need to go to, was it A30? Phase 1 and Phase 2. Uh, remit him. Remain hidden E74 uh, until uh, 0730. And I need to be at E30, A30 by 714. Um. Land, uh, the Hawk Lunch should be engaging the enemy Dragoon mech in Sector D. Okay, uh, Sector D has Dragoon. Oh, the Dragon, sorry. The enemy Dragon mech in Sector D. Come out of hiding and concentrate your missiles on its rear ass. Right, okay. Javelin leader, this is Javelin 2, code red. Javelin leader, this okay, is Javelin 2, code red. Stinger in sight. Javelin leader, this oh, is Javelin okay, yeah. 2, code red. I, what's the problem? Yeah, spider in sight. Spider and a sting out oh, for fuck's sake and a locust and oh balls. Uh Spider defensively Let's get the spider. In fact, let's move our asses. Too fast. Wow, almost fucked. <laughs> so me ass heart shaking. That's the left fork. A thirty. Right, okay. So I'm going. You can move to A30 then. Change yours to at will. Wow. 
Wow. Hermes 2. Oh, for God's sake. And a Whitworth. Oh, this was a bad idea. Let's see what it was that I missed. Alpha. Let's try the gauntlet, sorry. Oh, Lance. Oh, Clance, your mission is twofold. First, you are su to support the Calhound units north of base. Um, then move north through the forest six kilometers until you reach sector D of the northern area. Stay hidden and wait until 7.30. Right. At 7.30 you will advance and attack the Dragon Mech. You are to keep him facing south, as the Javelin Lance will soon appear and to attack his rear. Using all available firepower, uh, you are to destroy the enemy dragon and find and eliminate the HQ. So, um, support Calhoun units at north of the base, then move north to the co uh, through the forest, and get to Sector D. Stay and wait till 7.30. Okay. Hawk See, leader, this is this one. Smoke leader. Code red. Whoa, I'm going. Whoa, what's going on? Four Karita mechs spotted north. We need this system. That's right. That's what we've got. Phoenix Hawk. Target. Oh boy. We got a rifleman, a shadow hawk, a dervish, and a blackjack. So that's at least one heavy, if not. Because I know the shadow hawk's a medium. I know the right blackjack's a medium. Dervish I've never heard of. Rifleman I have, I'm not sure if that's uh, assault or not. So I'm gonna go. Blackjack for Phoenix Hawk, go and kill. Uh, the Griffin can go for hmm, Shadow Hawk, which means the Enforcer can take on. Rifleman. Go to it, gals. On a four, not a one. Okay, so what we got? We got a vindicator. We got an enforcer. We got a hunchback. Uh, I can't control them, so I don't know what they're doing. Hawk leader, this is Hawk two. Over. There's not much I can do, sorry. Hawk leader, this is smoke leader. Code red. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3. Over. I think this time we got moving on. I don't know. Alright, 6 ships, 70. 60. Hot, right. Curator okay, Mexican getting past it, yes I know. Hundred, hundred, hundred. Oh shit. That's the Shadow Hulk that should be done by the Griffin. I will change tactic. And take on the Shadow Hulk with the Phoenix Hulk. Sounds about right. Can't control the other lunts, never Hawk mind. Leader, this is Hawk Three, over. Okay. Nothing. 
Oh, one's already gone, that's good. Okay. Um, you're still taking on a Shadow Hawk. You've got no target. Dervish at 10%, or the Blackjack at 20. Blackjack at 20. Hawk leader, this is Hawk 3, over. Right, that one's gone. Target the oh, Hawk that leader, one's gone. this is Smoke Shadow Leader, Hawk. over. Punch out, yeah, it's fine. Eighty nine, ninety four, where's my other one? Thanks for the ho help, Hawklands. Now go and take out the last dragon. Excellent. Cool. Hawk leader, the target sector approximately six kilometers north. Confirmed, Hawk two. Let's try to avoid enemy contact until zero hour. Leader out. Uh, Roger that. Leader, Hawk two. Out. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to save and continue, and we'll wait till the next uh, video.